Hi, and welcome to SOS, Stevie on Scandal. That's right, people. This is the first ever video edition of my mini blog. So, you know how I always start out giving big ups to somebody from the show. Usually it's the costumer, but today it's Tony Goldwyn for directing that episode of Scandal. I mean, we knew he'd be a terrific director, right? I mean, he is from the Goldwyn family. MGM. Okay, so big ups, Tony. That was a fantastic episode, and baby, was it ever. Now, before we get to that, I need to say, I need a theme song. If we're going to do this video thing, I need a theme song. So, I'm sending a shout out to all my musical friends about giving me a theme song. Mark and Scott, hook a sister up with a theme song. To Ron Brooks, theme song. David Anthony, I need a theme song. Pasek and Paul, can you help me out with a theme song? Put your request below for who you think should write my theme song. Don't forget they have to sing it too because I'm not singing my own theme song. Anyway, um, back to the show. Baby, Shonda Rhimes took us there, didn't she? That show had so many twists and turns. I couldn't believe it when Jake was sitting there with Olivia saying, I broke in your house and stole the flash and copied the flash drive. Are you kidding me? It was supposed to be, I give you something, you give me something, but she didn't give him nothing but a kiss that didn't mean nothing. And she said that too, didn't she? Anyway, I want to talk about the 22 minutes. Was that the longest 22 minutes? And it wasn't even a real 22 minutes. He sat down on that couch and he said, sit here with me. Watch me choose you. Watch me earn you. She sat down in that chair. Marvin and Tammy started singing. And oh my goodness. It was on and popping then. It was just like tick tock, tick tock. Did you notice Melly's face when it was tick tock, tick tock? She wasn't quite sure she'd made the right decision. I think she should have took the deal. But she didn't. So now she was stuck between the rock and the hard place. A place of her own making, I might add. She had a little tear in her eye. Not that I care about a tear in Melly's eye. I thought Cyrus was going to have a heart attack running back and forth through that tunnel. I said, Cyrus, don't do it. Don't nobody even know you down there. Please don't have a heart attack going through the tunnel. And then when it was over, ding, 22 minutes over, everybody thought it was a done deal. What happened? Honey, Fitz took his woman back. Fitz and Liv was doing you know what. And y'all were glad about it. You don't have to admit it. I know you were glad about it because the ratings went up. Mm-hmm. And then Melly was sitting with James in front of the TV cameras talking about Fitz had an affair on national TV. I think she still thinks she can leverage that to the good mm -hmm. for the re-election. They're going to pretend like they got it all back together, whatever. I don't know. But that's what I think. Cyrus was just dumbfounded. He didn't know what to say. Now, we did discover that Cyrus is not the mole. Cyrus is not the mole. It sounds a little bit like Maury, but it's what happened. So, remember, a third of the people thought Cyrus was the mole, a third of the people thought Melly was the mole, and a third of the people thought, um, who do they think, Jake was the mole. So, Cyrus has been ruled out. I read the boards, and y'all crazy. Y'all think everybody the mole. People said Fitz, people said Huck, people said Abby. Abby could be the mole, you know, she a little testy. I don't know about her. Um... Y'all was saying anybody, somebody said America's baby was the mole. That made me laugh. That really made me laugh. So, back to who the mole is. Now, you know, two weeks ago, I came out with my picks for the mole, which was Sally Langston, the vice president, and Edison. So now, let's just suppose Sally has to have be working with somebody. Who might she be working with? Maybe Edison or maybe. Billy Chambers is not dead. You know they do that all the time. Make you think somebody dead and then they're not dead. Remember, Charlie was supposed to kill Huck, but he didn't. So maybe 
whoever was supposed to kill Billy didn't kill Billy. Wouldn't that be a hoot if Sally was working with Billy to get the information about defiance and reclaim the White House so they could rule the world? Crazy. But we've seen crazier. Now, the other question I have to ask you is, so I'm standing by my picks, by the way. Sally Langston, in cahoots with Edison, or potentially Billy Chambers. We'll know in a couple of weeks. Now, I have one last question. And this is just between me and you. I mean, this is not, this is not really part of the, the, what do they call it? The vlog. I guess I have a vlog now. The vlog. Anyway, this is not part of the vlog, so you can share it with me. Do you think America's baby is Fitz's baby? Hmm, I'm just saying. Melly has a lot of time on her hands. That's all I'm saying. Well, folks, this comes the part where if I had a theme song, it'd be playing now. Because this brings our episode of SOS to an end. You guys have a great week, and uh, I'll see you back here next Tuesday. Don't forget, brand new episode of Scandal this Thursday.